What does it mean to be an antique dealer nomad? It means I'm driving my van around across the country full of antiques, buying and selling as I go. I still do the majority of my selling online, but as I go across the country, I am exhibiting at some select antique shows as well as a flea market here and there. My girlfriend, dog, and I are mostly doing 28 day stays in Airbnbs as we travel across the country. While we are seeing and doing some really cool things, it is not a vacation. We decided that instead of paying rent in one location throughout the year, we decided we're just gonna go and do the whole country as much as we can in 28 day increments. It does come with some challenges. That means I have to have my van full of stuff. I have to have everything I have currently listed online for sale, which is about 200 objects across three, three different platforms. It means I have to have stuff to list in the future as well. It, it also means I have to have certain things for shows show supplies like tables and tablecloths and and bags and everything like that and lights and it means i have to have some select merchandise that's just available at shows that might be too big or too expensive or too fragile to ship it also means i have to have packing supplies so 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 many packing supplies my girlfriend loves to poke fun at me because whenever i see free cardboard i love to try to grab it but yeah i gotta buy cardboard and i gotta haul it around the country and buy bubble wrap and haul it around the country Okay, one of the more difficult things with this antique journey I'm on of selling as I travel across the country is working out of a van that is full. So when the van's packed loaded like it was when I left, um, left Colorado to come here in Arizona, it's just impossible. If I sell something, I'm like, what box is it in? How far is it buried? What about the stuff I haven't listed yet? Like, where can I find that? So I try to rent if I can't fit it all in the apartment or the Airbnb that we're running, which this time I couldn't, I could fit a couple boxes in there, unpack the box in the uh, cupboard and fit a couple boxes in there. I have to rent a storage unit. So this one, I found this little little storage unit. It's not real big, um, perfect size for me though, because I'm only going to unload like a third of the van. That way I can half the van and work my way around everything else. But and here, this, uh, it was like, I think the list price was like $80, $80 per month, but they were having a first month special half off. They did have a $10 service fee for signing up online, but the kicker is they let me rent it from middle of the month to the next middle of the month instead of prorating the first half month and then charging me a full month, even though I'm leaving halfway through the month. So yeah, I got a bunch of stuff in here and a bunch of the van, that's how I'm able to work it. That way I can find what I'm looking for more easily and pack everything. It's really hard to have to move 15 boxes to get to the one box you need. A lot of the stuff I put into here is the stuff that I'm holding for Nashville, some bigger stuff that's not listed online. Put some extra boxes in here. Extra boxes, extra tubs. I've actually emptied out three things already, so it looks a little less full than it did. It also means I have to carry around all my clothes my camera supplies, and anything else that we need in our stay, such as food or uh, cooking supplies. My girlfriend's driving her car, I'm driving my van, and our dog rides with her, but our vehicles are packed full. So yeah, so that's what it means for me to be a digital antiques nomad. It's sort of like a nomad, a digital nomad, except for you gotta cart around a lot of stuff in a van. And as this channel moves forward, I'm going to try to showcase some of the cool traveling my girlfriend and dog and I do, as well as some of the cool places we get to eat and the cool things we see. So please, if you enjoyed this type of video and you want to see where my antiques journey takes me in 2023 and beyond, hit like and subscribe. Peace.